In 1224, the Statutes of Winchester passed a decree that said that all concubines of the clergy had to leave the area of Southwark. This was an effort to keep the clergy celibate because frankly, they'd been misbehaving themselves. If the women refused to leave, they wouldn't receive the sacrament in church. For those that still persisted in staying in this area, they were threatened with excommunication and being buried in unconsecrated ground. In 1598, John Stowe wrote about a single woman's graveyard in the area of Southwark. And here it is, the Crossbones graveyard. Every month, people still gather here to tie the ribbons and tokens and bags and flowers and dolls to remember the outcast dead who weren't worthy of a sacred burial. When I started the online project Whores of Yore and researching the history of sexuality, it was because I was so interested in the voices of the outcast, people who'd been outcast because of their sexuality. Sex has a history and it's rich and poignant and funny and dirty and heartbreaking and all of those things at once. I curate the research project Whores of Yore and it's informed not only by a history of illicit sex but by voices today, your voices. Voices of academics, activists, sex workers, historians all coming together to talk about history, talk about sex and joining up those conversations just to be heard, to not be outcast. I'm writing a book on my own take of the history of illicit sex. I'm working with Unbound Publishing and I've chosen Unbound to publish it because they're a crowdfunded project. Horse of Your has been crowdfunded from the beginning. It's crowdfunded through knowledge. And if it wasn't for you offering me your knowledge and your experience and your voices, it's just a mad woman in her 30s tweeting pictures of dicks. I need you to help me make this a book. Let's come together so we can fund this and build something. I'm writing about the history of bread dildos and aphrodisiacs and strumpets and harlots and naughty nuns and the things that priests have been doing and all the stuff that people have done to each other over the years in the pursuit of the almighty orgasm. There will of course be the historical hotties, the word of the day and all of your daft captioning. But better than that, I'm going to split the profits made with Basis Sex Work Project in Yorkshire, a group who supports some of the most vulnerable sex workers in the industry. They've agreed that I can use their tart cards and some of their Our Voices project. So my take on history will be interwoven with voices that is happening today. So we never have to have outcast voices again.